Holly has the exclusive. Joining us live from East Point Police Department with more on what exactly happened, Ingrid. Yeah, you know, it's really disturbing. A mother takes away her daughter's cell phone and then her child comes up with a plan to kill her mother. Back in July, East Point police were called to the 24,000 block of Roxana. They're there to investigate a home invasion and possibly in a, an attempted murder. But as the investigation unraveled, something sinister was revealed about a 14-year-old girl living on the street. The minor daughter had uh, met a, another minor um, on a social media app. But the 14-year-old's time on social media was put in jeopardy. Her mother, who had no knowledge of the guy her child met on the app, decided to take away her daughter's phone as a form of punishment. Because she was having a lot of issues at home and not following the rules. So the teen and her new 17-year-old boyfriend came up with a solution. They decided together that they were going to kill mom. In the early morning hours of July 14th, the 14-year-old allegedly leaves the door to her home open so her boyfriend can enter. He went into the mom's bedroom and began to attempt to suffocate her with a body pillow that was on the bed. The mom screamed. And then he started choking her. But the woman's mother and grandmother to the 14-year-old intervened and told the 17-year-old to leave, which he did, but he left something behind. His shoes were left behind, and we believe that maybe he took those off to be quieter. A knife from the victim's house was also found in the street when the suspect fled. The mom was transported to the hospital, but will survive. Injuries. And after nearly two months of investigating, police took the 14 and 17 year olds into custody. The mother of the 14 year old told police her daughter is a problem child and has a record. Both have been charged as adults by the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office. The biggest evidence came from the 14 year old. From social media, from her social media account. The 17 year old facing a number of charges, including conspiracy to commit murder and the first degree. The 14 year old also facing charges, including solicitation of murder. The male received a $2.5 million bond. So I can't imagine that he's going anywhere, you know, anytime soon. And the female was given a $1 million bond. So they're both being held. The names of the teens not being released because of their ages. The investigation has shocked the police department. I don't know that we've ever seen anything on this level from this age group. And as this investigation continues, police want to make this clear. Everything you do on social media leaves a footprint. Nothing is secret. I mean, everything is able to be recovered and found when you're using social media. And although the mother survived, her blood vessels were greatly damaged because of that strangulation. Yeah. Needless to say, these teens are facing a number of future court dates. Back to you. My goodness, Ingrid, so young, 14 years old, and uh, the other teen, right. 17. It is really scary to think about in this mom. Uh, do we know if the teens had any trouble in the past before that, or was it something where one possibly may have influenced the other? Yeah, definitely. We don't know about the boyfriend, but we do know that the 14-year-old, the mom considered a problem child and said that she uh, actually does have a record. Now I have to speak on this because East Point is literally a hop, skip, and jump right down the street from where I live. And this is considered to be the Metro Detroit area. So this is a community that is very, very, very close to mine. Teen couple plots to unalive girls' mom so they can have freedom, Michigan police say. But we also had this one in June of 2024. 15-year-old accused of harming mom in her sleep gave bizarre explanation about why she did it. A Mississippi teenager has been charged with the attempted unaliving and first-degree arson of allegedly harming her mom several times and trying to set the residents on fire. During the investigation, Brown allegedly told authorities she had planned to unalive her mother because the alleged victim was a weird B-I-T-C-H. We have this back in March of 2024. Teens sinister plot to unalive their parents. 16-year-old boy unalive 17-year-old girlfriend's hardworking mother after their friend tried to harm her sleeping mom in bed. This is the case about Susan Bailey, a 43-year-old who was found unalived 
very similar circumstances to Dee Dee Blanchard at the top of the stairs in a family home in Roanoke, Texas. It also says an upcoming true crime documentary is set to delve into a sinister plot of four teens who made a pact to unalive their parents with devastating results. I mean, when is it not devastating? We also had this case in October of 2023, teen fatally, uh-uh, his mom, sleeping mom, in front of his newborn sister. A 13-year-old fatally, uh-uh, his mom, last week as she slept in their Florida apartment while the teen's two-week-old sibling was in the same room. You can go ahead and pause to read that. So, the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. Society, young teenagers, young adults, they're going to see somebody do what she did and thinks that they can do it too for freedom because she was a weird B-I-T-C-H because we wanted to, because we didn't like her. Every excuse under the sun, except for their own accountability and responsibility for making a poor life decision to commit a felony crime. But this right here, the fact that we've seen so many cases already happen and even one of them get picked up to have a documentary made about it is already showing you what the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case is doing to society and young people. They think not only can they do this and get away with it, but they think that they're going to get the same accolades and the same money and the same attention and views and positive reinforcement for a negative behavior that Gypsy Rose Blanchard has gotten away with. Tell me I'm absolutely wrong about this, but we are not going to see this stop. We're going to see it continue and we're going to see it even get worse with time.